Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to head over to Blaze Pizza and check out their new keto crust. I'll grab the keys and we'll head out right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here in Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. Icon in that way. Every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So we love pizza. And just because you're on keto doesn't mean you don't get pizza anymore. No. And we, I mean, we love pizza so much that we actually did an entire pizza week series a few months ago. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link over Rachel's head, but we did all kinds of things in that, right? We showed you how to eat blaze pizza on keto. Yeah. We did a cauliflower crust. We did a fathead crust. We did a chicken crust. And we even did a pizza casserole. Yeah. And they were all delicious yep. and, I mean, good for, for different tastes. Yeah. But when we did the Blaze Pizza thing, basically, essentially, it was take it off of the crust. Right. Don't eat the crust at all. Right. Well, Blaze Pizza now has just come out with something called their Keto Crust. And everybody says it's really good, so we're going to go ahead and check it out because it's, they did have what people thought was a keto option before. They had a, a cauliflower, cauliflower crust. And it definitely was not keto, but we'll show you that later. Okay. So let's head over to Blaze Pizza. We're going to get the pizza the way we like it, and then we're going to bring it back, and we're going to put it through our five things review. Road trip. Okay, so we made it to Blaze Pizza. Let's go inside and order one of these new keto crusts. <laughs> Okay, we got our delicious, yummy-looking pizza. Let's go home and eat it. Okay, we're back. With we got tasty. Blaze Pizza. Yes. Mm. Now, we load up our Blaze Pizza because we, do. we don't get a lot of pizza or we don't get it very often. So when we do, we go nuts with the toppings. Well, and they have a toppings bar, so don't be shy. Right. That's why they're there. Use them all. Like, there's lots of different types of cheeses. There's lots of different types of meats. And we found out that they mix well together. Yeah. And there's really no limit. Just like, if you want more cheese, just tell them more cheese. Sometimes they'll give you a look, but they will give it to you. You know what I do? I order and I don't make eye contact. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. Yeah, I'm just like... I just don't understand more, people who go to Blaze Pizza. More more mozzarella, please. <laughs> I don't understand people who go to Blaze Pizza and just get a, bla like a cheese pizza. I know. I'm like... Mm that's kind of a waste because the same price right it's no it's like a dollar less so it's not like ordering yogurt at like froyo where right. it's by the pound so. so this is what we got this is our keto crust pizza and Looks we're gonna good. actually eat the crust and yeah. we'll go over the nutrition after we try it mm -hmm. uh but let's go over what we put on here so first of all we didn't put any sauce we put no. a little bit of the olive oil on there did we put any pesto uh, just a little bit yeah. but it was mostly just told them the olive oil part right uh, but we don't do the red sauce because they have cane sugar and stuff like that in there. Yeah. And honestly, I don't need it. And sometimes we'll do the white sauce because the white sauce is high in fat and it doesn't, I think it has like one carb in the entire pizza. So okay. it's not that bad at all. Uh, but we just did no sauce. We got pretty much all the cheeses. We got the shredded mozzarella. And yes, their shredded mozzarella does have potato starch, but so does every other shredded mozzarella you buy in a store. Unless you're going to go get fresh mozzarella and, and shred it yourself, it yourself mm -hmm. you're always going to get the potato starch. But it, the carbs are negligible in it. There's There was ovalini. Yep. We got the ovalini mozzarella. We got ricotta. Goat cheese. We got goat cheese. Parmesan. We got feta cheese. And then, yeah, we got fed, the, we got Parmesan. And out of all those cheeses, the only one that actually adds a bunch of carbs to it is the feta and the goat cheese. They eat, they add a carb to it. But I have to add the feta because yep. then it's better. <laughs> Remember that, lady? So then let's talk meats. We got pretty much all the meats. All the meats. We got chicken, pepperoni. We got salami. Sausage. Uh, we got the the Italian meatball. We got the, the turkey sausage. We got bacon. Bacon! And then we got the salami. Oh, I said salami. And we got the ham. And the ham is actually the only one of the meats that adds a carb to the pizza. But we do get it anyway because, again, this it's is a treat for ourselves. Delicious. Now, veggie-wise, we do kind of skimp on the veggies because a lot of the veggies are a little bit higher in carb. Yeah. So what we get for veggies are we got the green peppers. Mm -hmm. We got banana peppers. Jalapeno. Red peppers. Jalapenos. 
Oh, uh, what else did we get? Did you get any of that garlic? That garlic is so good. Oh, we got spinach and then we got the ro- oh, we got broccoli and we got the roasted garlic and the roasted garlic actually does add two carbs per slice. Totally but it's worth so it. worth it. Totally worth it. Okay, now again, we will go over the entire nutrition on this, but basically each one of these slices is eight total carbs. And one, uh, eight total carbs and six net carbs. Now I will say when he first brought out the, um, the crust itself, yep, it was already crispy. It was already crispy. And I did think it was really cool. They offered, when we ordered the keto crust, they asked, do you want us to change our gloves so that our gloves that had the flour crust don't touch your keto crust? Is this delightful? So I thought that was really because cool. Because it could also be like a, a little bit of a gluten issue or something yes. too. So here is your plate. Thank you. We'll go ahead and just kind I'm of I'm also going to enjoy up. a Waterloo. Sorry. I had to do that. Because um, Miss Katie sent me a message with the Green Acres theme song. <laughs> and now all I can hear in my head is Green Acres is the place to be. We'll start off with one slice and then we'll kind of... Yum. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. Lots of delicious toppings. I kind of want to see if we can get to just the crust before we take a bite. Okay. So let's. Yeah. here's a fork for you. Thank you. I'd like a knife too, please, sir. I there's, gave you one, but I don't know where. There's only one knife there. It, nope, there was two. I only have one knife. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I'm just going to kind of spread it around and just grab, just try to grab just yeah. the crust, like maybe up the top corner. Oh, that's a good idea. So I'm get- it is crispy. Mm-hmm. It is, you know, very crispy. Hmm. It tastes like a regular crust. Now, I got uh, the 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 rest of the crust Mm -hmm. like try it with the i did so i'll no um mine was not crispy because i'm trying the stuff underneath the ingredients no but i'm well no no i mean all the blaze pizza took a thin crust it doesn't crisp us any of them even their flour but you can see it's not it's not soggy except for we've got like a ridiculous amount of toppings on here yeah okay okay so i don't have a knife up near the top would you like to use mine? No, I got it like this. You ready? We're going to try it with all the toppings Ooh. on it. Hold on. Get in there. Are you ready? Not yet. I'm trying. Okay. Tastes like my Blaze pizza. Mm-hmm. Now, here's the true test. Will so, it do? And now, again, I have a, a tremendous, I mean, you look at all the cheese that we have on there. We have a ridiculous Crazy amount enough. of cheese on there. So it is holding up as a carrier. Wow. It is holding up as a carrier. Mm-hmm. So. Well, it is not um, falling apart. I hate to tell you this, but let's. Put our food to the side. Okay. Because oh. nobody wants to watch us eat an entire pizza. Oh my goodness. And let's go I'm going to put the lid on this though so it stays warm. It stays a little warm. Okay. So I have my new iPad over here because like on the in the middle of Prime Days, Costco decided they were going to compete with Amazon. And so they had the big giant 12.9. And look how big this thing is. That thing is ridiculous. It's huge, isn't it? And they actually were selling it their 12.9 inch iPad Pro for let the new one uh-huh. for less than Amazon sold me my 11 inch iPad Pro a couple weeks ago. Thank you. So Costco. I immediately called up Amazon and said, like, I would like to return this, please. Yes. You know, because <laughs> this thing is actually like three hundred dollars more than the one I bought, but I got it for less than the- I paid for the original one. Wow. So okay. always check Casco. Always check. Yep. Yeah, we just got to watch the emails. Certain emails I actually go to. So let's talk about, first of all, the ingredients. We're not going to go over all the ingredients of everything we got, but the ingredients on just this crust. Yeah, because that's what would be the same no matter what pizza you're ordering. So the keto crust is made out of cauliflower rice, low moisture mozzarella cheese, which is pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt, and enzymes, casein protein, which Mm -hmm. is fine, Uh uh, flaxseed, eggs, whey protein, Yeast, spices, and cultured brown rice. Now that's the last that last ingredient, and probably the one that's going to 
make people suspect. Okay, so if you don't know what cultured brown rice is, cultured brown rice is actually a natural preservative. Mm -hmm. It's a fermented bacteria from the rice itself. And it's the same thing they actually wow. use to help to make uh, Swiss cheese. That's so cool. Okay, so don't be concerned. You're not eating brown rice. It's a fermented brown rice. It's what they take it from there to help it be a natural preservative. Yeah, which okay. is cool. So... Now, in the nutrition, this is going to be per slice. One slice is 70 calories, just for the crust. Mm -hmm. It's 2.5 grams of fat, 9 grams of protein, because they're basically making it out of protein and cauliflower rice. Right. And it is two total carbohydrates per slice, one gram of dietary fiber. So if you eat the entire thing, you're adding 12 carbs with the crust and, you're, or, and six net carbs. Yeah. Now, generally, because we load this thing up, we, eat, we split one pizza, and it is super filling. It is. Okay? So now let's talk about our pizza itself with everything that we got on it. Let me pull up my thing. Okay, so if you look at our pizza. That we got. It is 270 calories per slice with, slice with all of our toppings on it, 16 grams of fat, 20 grams of protein, 8 total carbohydrates, 2 grams of dietary fiber, so it's 6 net carbs per slice. Again, we are going to eat three slices, so you're looking at probably about about 800 calories. Uh, we're looking at uh, how much fat? 16 grams of fat. So multiply that by three. I'm not good at math. Whatever you want to do. So 32. So that's what 40. That's three. Six times three, 18. So 48 grams of fat, and then 60 grams of carbohydrate of protein total. Okay. That's a lot of math in a short amount. That is of time a lot of math. Me. Okay, so total carbohydrates because we're going to eat all three we're going to eat three slices. We would be eating 24 total carbs for half of this pizza. I'm totally comfortable with that. Okay, and you'd be eating 18 net carbs. Now you can take off though if we take out the crust. Okay, where are we at? You, you'd be taking out six carbs. So now you'd That's be six total carbs. So now instead of 24, you'd be at 18 total carbs. So that's something to think about. Yeah. So now like, you have to make a decision. It, is it, is bringing, it worth it? Is it bringing it to you? And again, we're adding everything. I could cut the carbs down on this dram dramatically by removing the garlic. That's going to take out two carbs per slice. So Changing six the carbs. ham. If I take out the, if I take out the garlic and I take out the ham, I've just lowered my my um, pizza from eight total carbs to four total carbs with the crust. So maybe you could keep the crust and just drop those two drop those toppings. In. Yeah, one or the other or both. But I mean, we like that garlic and it's a treat for us, but that yeah. garlic is adding six total carbohydrates for uh, a half of the pizza. But that's for, for you guys to decide. Yep. We like to fight vampires with our breath. We absolutely do. Now, just to give you a comparison of this, mm -hmm. if you were to use the regular crust, right? okay, the regular bread crust, one slice, 290 calories, 16 grams of fat. So roughly you're in the same area right there. 16 grams of protein. Got a little bit less protein because you don't have the protein in the crust. Right. Here you go though. 20 carbohydrates per, per slice, slice. With one gram of dietary fiber. So 19 total, 19 net carbs per slice. So for us, eating a half of the pizza would now go from 24 total carbs to 60 total carbs. That is huge. Yep. And just... For the fun of it. Yeah. They do have a cauliflower crust. Which, which you got to hear do this. Do not get this. Okay. You got to make sure you don't get this. And a lot of people are making this mistake. Here's the ingredients for their cauliflower crust. Cauliflower, low moisture mozzarella cheese, which is pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt, and enzymes. Rice flour, tapioca starch, uh, water, egg whites, rice starch, modified food starch, yeast, sugar, salt, cr uh, cultured brown rice. Uh, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and xanthan gum. But you know, this is for people who maybe it's like more of a gluten free thing. Yeah, has have a gluten free issue, but not um, keto. But a lot of keto people, unfortunately, are seeing cauliflower crust in their buying it. So I am right. glad that they've made this keto option. Yeah, they've made a distinction. Okay, so here would be the nutrition on this same pizza if you use their cauliflower crust. And I know this is a lot, but I thought it was interesting. One slice. 310 calories. So you just upped it by 40 calories per slice. To have cauliflower. To have the cauliflower crust. 18 grams of fat. 17 grams of protein. And here's the best part. 21 total carbohydrates per slice. So there's actually more carbohydrates in the cauliflower crust than, than there the is in the crust. regular crust. Yep. 
So thought that was really interesting. Worth a mention. So you want to put this through our five things? Five things? Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We talk about the ingredients. Does a keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now we're going to do this on just the crust, not yeah, the overall pizza. Because our um, toppings would be way different than yours. I'm sure our toppings are different because, like, we overdo it on the toppings. I bring a wagon so that I can wheel the thing out when I'm done. It's so heavy. Yeah, we've had pizzas that literally are, like, four or five pounds when we walk out of there. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so number one, the ingredients. I'm okay with the ingredients. I feel really good about it, and especially as a restaurant option, Yeah, I think one of the best. Yeah. I mean, the bottom line is the, the biggest questionable pr uh, products that people are going to have with the ingredients are the protein. Some people right. don't want to have like whey and casein protein. They'd rather have a vegetable protein. Mm -hmm. um, so that might be one thing that some people have an option with. I'm okay with eating whey, whey and casein protein. Mm -hmm. And the other one is the cultured brown rice. But once you understand what that is, that it's just a fermented preservative, might feel you know, better about it. And it's also the very last ingredient right. on, you know, the nutrition label. They're not leading with it. Right. So I'm personally okay with the ingredients. Me too. Uh, and I do think it's like when you compare it to like something you're going to have at home, it's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. So number two, how does a keto, does a keto based on a nutrition label? I think so. Yeah. 70 total calories per slice. I, f I don't remember the fat and protein without opening the iPad, but what I do remember is Two total carbs, one net carb per slice. And you, unless you're making a chicken crust pizza at home, you can't get better nutrition on a pizza crust. You really can't. You know, if you go make a fathead crust, you've got more carbs in a fathead crust per slice than you have in this. The only way you're going to get lower is with that chicken crust. Kind of amazing. Yeah. So that's definitely something to think about. So number three, how does it taste? I think it tastes very good, very similar to a Blaze, that very thin crust yep. that they have. I mean, this isn't like Chicago style deep dish. No. This is a thin crust. Right. And I think that it holds up as a conveyance because like I said, we put it to the test with so many toppings and it held up and I thought it tasted well. Like yeah. I tasted good. I, I actually like the taste of it. I think even comparing it to at home, mm -hmm. it doesn't taste like a weird crust. It honestly, I it's been two and a half years, but I think it tastes very similar to just, like you said, the Blaze Thin. Pizza flour crust. Mm -hmm. I mean, very similar to even eating your fat head dough crust. I don't notice a difference. It, only, never I'm going to compare it to a chicken crust. You taste the chicken crust. Well, let me tell you this. It doesn't have any weird aftertaste. No. And if I'm comparing it to like a real good pizza oh my gosh that was disgusting oh my goodness that was terrible and so. soggy and everything else yeah so so number four What's is the price how, how much does it cost so this is definitely something to take into consideration because you're gonna have to pay four more dollars yeah in order to change your crust from their traditional crust to a keto crust yeah so where this pizza would normally cost us nine dollars it actually costs us fourteen dollars but with tax and stuff oh okay with tax it's normally like nine she, she said it's a four dollar upcharge yeah so that's something to consider yep because it is a thin crust. Yes. So, I mean, if you're going and, you know, trying to want like a deep dish crust experience, you're not going to have that. I mean, it's holding the pizza up so that you can hold a pizza normally. But if you are um, thinking budget wise, I don't think you honestly need it. Right. So number five, would we recommend it? I would absolutely recommend this. I mean, if you're somebody who just wants to be able to go out with their friends to a pizza place and not feel really weird and, and like it. because you're scraping it and you want to just feel like you're part of the crowd where you can, yeah, have that conveyance. Yeah. I absolutely would recommend it. Me too. And I would recommend it also. I can see you want to eat that, don't you? I do want to eat go it. Go for it. <laughs> Um, I also recommend it for people who are like, if the bread is there, I cannot help myself. Mm -hmm. And I've had times like that where it's like, if it's here, I'm going to start doing like a whole negotiating thing. Well, it's small, it's thin crust. I'll take a little bite of it. Exactly. If you have problems with that, get the keto crust and just do yourself a favor and then enjoy it. And don't right. feel bad tomorrow because you got the bread and you ate it. Right. So, um, for me personally, I mean, for the $4 thing, cause I'm kind of cheap. Right. Right. Um, I I might not get it every time. I, I don't have any problem at this point with just scraping stuff off. We tend to usually eat at home more and do it as a takeout thing. I'd probably just scrape it off because I don't need to spend the extra $4 in order to have that. I'm going to eat my pizza with a fork and knife anyway because we put so much toppings on it. It's kind of gets heavy. Right. But I wouldn't mind it, especially since we split a pizza. It only 
makes it two more dollars a piece right for our meal yeah so i'm i kind of feel the same way for me now i get to eat i that. actually i i do enjoy it i i do I, it's kind of weird to be able to get a store-bought pizza and pick it up like this mm-hmm. you know i'm only used to being able to do that at home um and in the past, we have done things where I really wanted a crust where we got a blaze pizza. I came home, I made a chicken crust, and I put it on there. I probably wouldn't do that. I would probably just, like, splurge on this. But I probably wouldn't get this crust very often, except for if maybe I am in that situation where I'm hanging out with a bunch of people. And you know what? I just want to be normal like them yeah. for once and not get all of the dirty looks for scraping everything off and eating it like a salad. Yeah. I don't have to explain myself. You know, because for me, it does add... It is adding six total carbs to the pizza, and so it did put me a little bit up, whereas, like, I would normally want to get this and have it be somewhere around 18 total carbs. Now I'm at 24 total carbs, yeah. which I still don't think is that no, bad. but I would rather spend my carbs on more toppings and less carbs on right. what's holding it. If it comes down to me, like, eat the garlic or eat the crust. We're fighting vampires, I'm yo. getting the garlic, and the garlic actually adds more carbohydrates than the crust yeah, itself. Yeah, but I think it also adds more flavor, yeah. whereas the crust is just there. Yep. So, that, and that's just what it Personal comes down preference. to me. And again, when I say 24 total carbohydrates, that's for a half of the pizza. Yeah. You know, for one slice, we're looking at eight and six, so not nearly as bad. I can't eat one piece in one sitting, though. <laughs> I gotta have a couple. Well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comments section if, if you've tried the Blaze Pizza's mm-hmm. Keto Crust, what you thought of it, if you're planning on trying it. And also, let us know what kind of toppings you like to put on your pizza. Yeah. Are they are they vampire fighters too? The one thing that I do like, I like the fact that some of the restaurants are finally starting to be like, you know what? People, this is a serious lifestyle for people. This isn't a fad. And we're going to give you some options. And this is honestly, to me... One of the best options for like a non traditional keto food. Like, yeah, you can go to a steakhouse, yeah. you can get a burger. But like I always tell people, people ask me all the time, like, hey, you want to go out to eat? Where do you want to go? And I'm like, Bliss. the only two places that I can't really make keto easy yeah. is Italian or pizza mm-hmm. and Mexican. Right. Difficult to make, unless you're going to just get fajitas. But, yeah. You know? So this has actually now become another option where if somebody wants to go out to eat and I want to feel normal, I'm good with that. It's nice to see them starting to jump on board a little bit. Thank you, Blaze Pizza, for providing this option for us and for taking the keto community seriously. Yep. So if you guys like what you saw today, do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Okay, I'm eating pizza. Me too. Bye. Bye.